This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Time Magazine says you are the 2006 Man of the Year. Who made the biggest impact in the region? And who is the Man of the Year in the Middle East? These stories and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. Time Magazine named its Person of the Year, and it is you for seizing the reins of the global media, for founding and framing the new digital democracy, for working for nothing and beating the pros at their own game. This means that they could not think of anyone. They could have at least latched onto a trend, Obama or their favorite evil, Saddam Hussein or Kim Jong-il. There is no you. If you make everyone the man of the year, what's the point in having one? Well, we right here at the Mosaic Intelligence Report have picked our man of the year in the Middle East and it's not you. In 2006, Bin Laden became insignificant. We last heard from him in April, although his ideas and messages have been disseminated to the entire world by his deputy, Ayman al-Zawahiri, who just few days ago spoke against new Palestinian elections. And yes, we were entertained by the outbursts and the theatrics of Saddam in the Iraqi court where he was sentenced to death. Al-Zarqawi was killed and the war in Iraq is spiraling out of control. A stronger candidate for Man of the Year in the Middle East was Hassan Nasrallah, the Secretary General of Hezbollah, who managed to eclipse the war in Iraq for more than a month by surprising everyone with his defiance and resistance against Israel and its powerful army. But at the end, we decided on Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, a president unlike any other Iran has known, belligerent, both a fundamentalist and a nationalist, and a genius at mobilizing Iranian public opinion. He has risen out of obscurity to become one of the most troublesome and noteworthy leaders in the world. His uncompromising stand on his country's right to enrich uranium has increased the threat of further turmoil in the Middle East and edged the US and Iran closer to a military confrontation than ever before. The former mayor of Tehran and Revolutionary Guards commander has formulated a message that the majority of Iranians agree with. It's time for Iran to be strong again. Tehran's nuclear drive is totally peaceful and aims to bring peace and security to the region. Ahmadinejad added, Iran's nuclear program has been under full supervision of the International Atomic Energy Agency and that the nation wants to continue with it under the IAEA monitoring. He warned certain states that seek to undermine Iran's progress not to repeat their bitter mistakes. He has made nuclear power an issue of national pride, and so far, his position that the U.S. cannot do a thing is proving true. What's your choice for Man of the Year in the Middle East? We'd like to hear from you, yes, you, by writing us at mosaicnews at linktv.org. I'm Jamal Dejani for Mosaic Intelligence Report. This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.